Stay my time, TDM fans. Womp womp. <laughs> Not the wop wop. KSI and Logan have responded to the Lunchly drama yet again, and this is by far the worst response yet. Basically, if you missed the last video, they were having these crybaby meltdowns after Dan TDM called them out for the new product Lunchly, which is some ultra processed food that they're trying to sell to kids. Pretty much, they made a bunch of tweets crying about the whole situation and even made new videos on their channels. And basically, it was a large amount of copium and fake laughing. But today we have a bunch of updates from KSI making another new apology video on his clips channel to Logan Paul promoting Lunchly from the hospital room of his newborn baby. I really wish I was joking. But anyways, let's start off with KSI posting a new video to his clips channel called My Apology to Dan TDM. Hey guys, um, a lot's happened these past few days. And uh, I've had a lot of time to reflect and really understand everything. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really understand all of my this actions. situation, bro. I've, I, you know, first of all, I've already I've really kept up with it, I'm not gonna lie. Sorry. Bro, I can't take KSI seriously, bro. <laughs> I can't take it. Okay, obviously, in standard KSI fashion, I can't take it's it seriously, yet bro. another fake apology with another bunch of fake laughs with Logan sucking him off under the table, giving him the ultra gluck gluck glizzy 9000. Hey, now, yo. I want you guys to keep in mind, this is the same guy whining on Twitter, asking why everybody just hates him. People just hate him. I wonder why, guys. I wonder why people actually hate KSI. Maybe because you're an insufferable piece of shit man i don't know even when you're completely wrong in the situation you keep doubling down over and over and over again pretending it's just racist people that hate you or dan tdm fans that are molding or something when in reality it's your own fans that just don't like you anymore i feel like people are slowly understanding that just because somebody was entertaining in the past doesn't mean they are a good person and should continue to be supported, right? Because from what I understand, your entire Reddit hates you. Your entire YouTube comment section hates you. The, the Twitter feed is just absolutely ratioing you. Literally on every single social media, you're getting absolutely cooked. And that's not Dan TDM fans. That is your own fans that are disappointed because you are showing so much immaturity. When they probably thought that you somewhat grew from your old self, but instead you ended up just a extremely cocky and annoying person. I mean, KSI is pretty much the exact opposite of Dan TDM, you know? Because if someone is going to describe Dan TDM, they'd probably say he's humble, kind, and just all around good guy who probably wants the best for his audience. Meanwhile, KSI's legacy is being an absolute insufferable dickhead, selling out his audience for money, crypto rug pulls, unhealthy products for kids, and of course, being best friends with Logan Paul and Mr. Beast. Like, I don't know how he has the audacity to talk about legacy Damn. when he makes decisions <laughs> yo, like this. Yo, okay, let, whoa, whoa, what did it... What did he do? It's all the time and it's pretty much ruined any sort of legacy he might have had. I want to. I want to apologize. <laughs> I want to say something. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> hey, yo, drink prime. And eat lunch with me, <laughs> Stay my time, TDM fans. Womp womp. <laughs> perfectly sane man over there that is that is the look of somebody who is absolutely unbothered by the situation <laughs> you guys totally got That's old man that guy clip, is right? cool as a cucumber I ain't gonna lie. also i don't know why he keeps saying dan tdm fans that must be like some severe form of copium because it is really your own fans because if you remember all dan tdm has done is make one tweet half a month ago he has not mentioned the drama on any of his youtube channels Meaning that most of his fans, who obviously follow him on YouTube, don't even know about this situation at all. It's only like the very tiny, minuscule portion of his fans that actually follow him on Twitter. So obviously, it's just not Dan TDM fans. It's literally your own fans that actually hate you. And Bum -bum. obviously, you're you've gone a little bit off the deep end. Let's be honest. All right, you are absolutely losing your mind here. And I don't know what to say if you're 30, 31 years old or whatever. I, I'm not gonna lie, I think it's just like a 
a plot, you know, to just sell more Lunchables because drama sells. Like, I think he's, like, Logan Paul and KSI, they are brilliant marketers, bro. You know what I'm saying? They they turn Prime from nothing to a multi-million dollar company. You know what I'm saying, bro? I, I this, is, this is just my two cents. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking he's just using this as a way to just sell more Lunchables and, 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 and to just get people talking about you. You know what I'm saying? And, I don't know though. And not every. Yeah, so I'm a, that was that was a good little spiel. Ain't gonna lie. And acting like an anime villain in your videos. I think you just trying to sell I, more I think lunch. You need to get a grip and probably leaves? log off the internet for a little know. bit. Also, in my last video, a bunch of you in the comment section pointed out how annoying KSI's fake laughs are. And now that I'm are watching it a laughs? little bit more, yeah, it's become so obvious that they're. As a person that laughs at everything as well, I ain't gonna lie. I'd be laughing because it's because I'm nervous. I ain't gonna lie. But, yo, is it is it generally fake? I never thought it was fake. I ain't gonna lie. Are completely fake and it's just copium. <laughs> That's tough. Okay. <laughs> His laugh is contagious. Ain't gonna lie. I don't know if you guys have watched any of those sitcoms where in the background they're always playing one of those laugh tracks. Because they need to artificially induce laughs from the audience because the joke isn't funny enough. He just sort of generates laughs himself to sort of cope with the fact that nobody is on his side. I mean, it's pretty obvious to me that you're pretty much crying inside, dude. And can I just say, Dan TDM Dang, made the tweet half not like a his month eye. ago. We are literally in a new month. It's October now. And this dude is still hardcore molding. Ay, ay, ay. It maybe, is the maybe first the, of October. Calm down. and Mercury in his prime actually <laughs> melted off his brain for once. There's there's no other explanation for this level of stupidity, in my opinion, all right? Also, turns out he's a massive hypocrite. Here's a clip of him criticizing Messi for quote-unquote copying Prime, but then he just goes around and does the same shit with Lunchly. Messi new drink compared to Prime. Thoughts? I don't know about you, but uh, it looks very similar to prime am i right or am i right like even the ridge like come on guys brother has just copied our homework it's outrageous outrageous guys it's totally outrageous i i wonder who would copy some other brand completely taking exactly what they were doing barely changing anything and saying it has more electrolytes cough cough lunchables and lunchly wow Maybe, maybe KSI, Messi was just Ow. making a better for you alternative what? to Prime. You know, he was just, he was just doing a good thing, you know, mm -hmm. taking market space from people who are not making the best product possible. I think he should be praised for that, honestly. <laughs> what an absolute clown Omega hypocrite, bro. Now, after this, KSI went on Twitter again and attempted to complain about Dan TDM, but this time he got ratioed so hard <laughs> that he actually deleted his tweet. Here's a tweet from Drum Alert. KSI is still mocking Dan TDM. Basically, he tweeted, thanks for the free promo, See at Dan TDM, DM me your bank details for the payment, lol. I think at this point, KSI is a better hydration drink than Prime because he actually has more salt. Here's what people are saying. His fans are turning on him. I grew up watching you and now I've realized you never grew up. Do better. KSI's downfall is about to begin. Bro, so salty, it's insane. KSI tweeted him at least 13 times, all to receive no reply. Now, KSI actually ended up arguing with random people on Twitter, the other guy catching a left hook. Basically, somebody <laughs> responded saying, Bro, this is not helping you at all. Wrap it up and apologize. Your mother should apologize to me for creating you. So I guess because Dan TDM didn't respond, he just had to go <laughs> reply to random people on Twitter. I mean, That's th this is just getting sad, dude. This is the most unoriginal and weakest comeback in the book. He thinks he's in middle school. I think that's too old for him. The maturity level there is a bit high. I think down to primary school would be more like it. Now he made yet another follow-up tweet after getting community noted two times. The countdown is up. The apology video is now live and ready for you to view. Basically, if you remember the last video, he made a site to promote his music and then he tweeted out that, oh, this is my apology, click on the link, and basically it would just go to his music. And Did I don't really get the logic there because if I'm an angry fan and I click to see an apology and then I get hit with your 
ear piercingly dog shit music. I think I'm just gonna sue you for auditory assault or something instead of actually becoming a fan. The link is 100% misleading. It's a promo angle. As with the quoted tweet, this link is misleading as it's a promotion for a new single. This goes against X guidelines. By the way, if it goes against guidelines, why is it in a community note and not just deleting the tweet or something? Because I mean, you can't expect Twitter to enforce any rules, but a faulty link is obviously a shady thing that you probably shouldn't do. And I would not Makes click sense. on any KSI or Logan links. All right, they are very uh, experienced in the art of crypto scams. Oh my God, just let it go already. There's no way you're still talking about this. So just to recap, 30 year old full grown man having a midlife crisis because one YouTuber made one tweet about him half a month ago. I, I mean, it's clearly got under his skin somehow. I feel like he's just really mad that people like Dan way more than they like him and he just can't handle that. Cause if we look at Dan's life right now, he's happily married, has a kid, still making videos he loves, raised an entire generation who actually loves him for it. And he never had to scam his own audience for it or sacrifice his morals. Meanwhile, KSI is here crying on the internet trying to earn money any way he That's can tough. nfts crypto garbage ultra processed food scamming fans best friends with the guy who filmed the dead body for views partnering with mm. possibly some of the most questionable people on the planet right now i know i got a 30 video series on him <laughs> and despite being 30 has the maturity of a 14 year old. Oh, right. What about you? Yo, I think that's pretty pathetic. Fried. And we're gonna move on to his Yo, other wife, Logan Paul, who has uh, done something so absolutely insane. This is dystopian. Logan Paul has a child. And what do you think he immediately does? Logan Paul and partner Nina Agdal welcome their first child, Esme, all right? Okay, wow, congratulations, Logan. This is the most important moment of your life. You're probably completely offline, you know, spe enjoying the moment, spending time with your wife and uh, and uh, promoting lunch. There's no way, there's no way this guy, this is a simulation. Logan Paul using his wife's pregnancy to promote Lunchly is so dystopian. Yeah. And we got a picture of his wife in the hospital. I turned the hospital room into a vibe and you can see in the corner, something is lurking. Lunchly promotion, obviously gotta have that with the birth of your child. And he's holding up Lunchly and Prime while his wife is in the hospital bed. I, I, I can't do this, man. If I'm Nina, I'm divorcing you immediately, dude. She gave birth and you're sat there with Prime and Lunchly trying to use the birth of your child as an advertisement for more money. What, how, how absolutely yeah, soulless me can you be? But Mr. should we Krabs really be surprised? This is moment. Logan Paul. The They're man who filmed a dead body for views on the internet. The man that has allegedly done several crypto scams amounting to millions of dollars. Now listen up. If that actually is your child, Logan, uh, because there Wait. is actually some internet discourse regarding that Wait, as well with the whole Dylan Dennis tough. situation. But that's assuming uh, that is actually your kid, I beg you, please do not feed them lunchly or feastables or prime. If you actually want them to live past 40, please give them a regular nutritious diet. I mean, knowing Logan, his next product is probably baby formula with extra electrolytes. Just be like, well, it has more potassium. It'll, it'll make your child grow, grow taller for sure. He's probably gonna take his lunchly, grind it down into a powder, add some like water to that, and then put it in the kid's milk bottle. Gotta lace the pacifier with Prime as well. You know, make sure, make sure the kid gets his healthy dose of lead in there, allegedly. At least that way your kid grows up as smart as you. Anyways, here's what people are saying. Think Before You Sleep says, all of you haters don't understand the grind. I gotta be grinding while my wife's giving birth, bro. I gotta get extra moolah, obviously. Sensitive Society nah. based Logan Paul, question mark. At least we'll see what Prime will do to a child. Okay, how much lead is in these though? By the way, one of the top comments on my last video was something I actually didn't even think of. The reason they released Lunchly was actually to get rid of the garbage feastables and prime that was not actually selling anymore and was being found on clearance aisles basically so yeah that was like their way of salvaging the product and that completely failed as well so they're just gonna have all the stock that is absolutely unsold 
and make a massive loss money wise is this real life i can't tell sometimes neither can i honestly this Literally is getting no. too stupid the movie idiocracy is actually coming to life the baby's cooked bro exposure to even low levels of lead can actually cause damage over time especially in ch children the greatest risk is brain development where irreversible damage can occur okay so then they'll turn out exactly like logan basically this is in reference all to the right. baby thought they'd call it prime to be honest all in the midst right. of all that lunch will bs i forgot this dude was gonna be a father i mean clearly the lunch lay drama was more important than his child dude now people are already memeing the situation uh maybe this is why is it really his child who else in hollywood could it be i can't wait to spend the rest of my life with my wife and my child all right all right regardless of whose child that actually is i can almost a hundred percent guarantee you that logan paul will be using this child for content I don't know if it's going to be a family channel or what else, but there is absolutely no way that this money hungry demon could possibly <laughs> let this opportunity for additional attention and money possibly slide. Now, if that wasn't bad enough, promoting Lunchly while your wife's on a hospital bed, Logan actually took it a step further because you would think he'd be busy attending to his wife and child like a normal father or husband or whatever, but instead, he's arguing with people on Instagram. Logan Paul's beefing with Ryan Garcia after being congratulated under his newborn announcement post. So this is on Instagram, Ryan Garcia says congratulations, and Logan Paul responds, Prime's still suing you for lying, but thanks. Uh, I could care less about your lawsuit. I'm giving a congrats to the birth of your child. And then we got a picture of the family. Obviously, <laughs> Logan's eyes filled with money bags here. Oh my god, I can turn you into so much views and money. Oh That's my god, I can't wait. Bro's thinking We're about cooked. lawsuits on his daughter's birthday. Crazy. All that shit talk, and he still hasn't paid for cryptos who actually do refund the victims. Oh my god, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> Logan Paul. Hello, I like money. I like money. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, I don't know who's more like pathetic. Money. KSI or Logan. <laughs> Logan. I think Logan still has the top spot, but KSI is slowly crawling his way up it there, just getting involved with all these bad people and essentially doing the same sort of stuff as them. But can you guys imagine being a newborn baby and spinning the lottery wheel and getting Logan Paul as your father? That is possibly the unluckiest child on planet Earth. Please, Lord, have mercy on that child okay. and I'll I don't luckiest know, protect child them from everything Logan little... does. Come Anyways, on after now. this, another massive YouTuber chimed Let's in as well. Rosanna is back and she has some to say about KSI and Logan. So this is in Ooh. response to KSI's tweet calling Dan TDM a dumbass YouTuber. Rosanna says, I for one am fed up with YouTube intentionally supporting and promoting vile dude bro bullies who don't care about the platform, their fans, or the damage they're doing. I remember when Logan Paul filmed a dead body for entertainment and YouTube kept the video trending number one for an entire day. I also remember that disgusting stunt causing an apocalypse, which cost medium and small size creators a lot of money, lost AdSense revenue, and lots of brand deals pulled out for creators because of Logan's actions. And you know the real kicker? YouTube then proceeded to trot Logan Paul around like a show pony in front of all the creators he heard, and I'm not even kidding, executives at YouTube told me that they were going to fix Logan Paul and help him become a better person. How's that going, YouTube? Yeah, he's just gotten worse and worse as the years have gone by. You know, people were saying he had a redemption arc, but that was actually never the case. He was pretty much always grifting. He would always try to take some sort of virtuous position, and then Twitter would congratulate him. I was like, oh my god, you said the current thing, but actually he's just been grifting the entire time. He doesn't actually believe a word he says or any of the products he promotes. He just wants money and attention and to get bigger and bigger and Is bigger. Is by, by Nike? In my opinion. The final straw for me was YouTube or then Nike being a main sponsor for one of Logan's boxing fights after all the damage he'd caused. It's apparent to me now that people like KSI, Logan Paul, and Mr. Beast simply don't have to follow any resemblance of YouTube's rules and will continue to be the bullies until they lose support. So when you see them crying about their well-deserved backlash, just remember YouTube has supported them every step of the way. And she's added YouTube. Honestly, I never understood how Logan got away with what he did in Japan, you know, filming a dead body. I mean, that's, that's, that's psychopath stuff, right? And what he continues to do with all the crypto stuff. It's just insane to me. He's got to be having some insane pull at YouTube because because I feel like people get permaban for way less than that. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought about KSI and Logan's response here. Also, the comments are hilarious, man. Pay has found a new cow to milk. It's gonna make 20 videos on KSI. Not wrong, man. As <laughs> uh, I agree a little bit. Uh, that we didn't know all of that. Uh, whoa, you know what I'm saying? Whoa.
uh, W W little bit, W little bit, W little bit. Uh, I watched all the whole way through. You know what I'm saying? So it was intriguing. It was interesting. You know what I'm saying? He definitely went in. Yo, he was going in on these guys, bro. Like yo, but you know what I'm saying? 